Hi everyone, this is Harry and welcome to part 13 of the Last of Us walkthrough on survivor mode. We are in Billstown in the graveyard just outside of the high school and we want to sneak through here to go to a truck just at the end there in front of us to get a car battery so we can stick it in a different car and go to Tommy's. Now this part um, is a bit hectic, um, you know there's a lot of non-stealth moments, a lot of stealth moments and yeah it can get quite frustrating. Um, so yeah let's give it a go. In this area as you can see there are quite a lot of runners, um, I mean we can see four just in front of us and there is a, a fifth one. Um, however, one of the runners we actually can't get to stealthily. So there's only four stealth runners here, and then there are actually seven non-stealth. Uh, so we're going to have fun with that. So... Let's just pop down here, and the first one we're going to get is the one which we couldn't see before, which is that one there in front of us, just going around the police car. So, when you first come to this section, you'll probably be able to just not have to wait and just walk straight up. Um, just because I did my intro, they've kind of already started a loop on their patrols. But as you can see, that runner, she goes round the police car. She'll even stop for a bit just there. Carries on going, and essentially she's going to come back towards us. You can kind of see that loop starting. And then while we're here, you can see that guy there, the, the black runner, just patrols up and down there, comes a bit to the left. All right. So that runner's just gonna start turning now. And we want to slowly just follow her. We'll be able to catch her because she stops quite a few times. Just stay behind her. And then grab and choke. So that one, just there you can see, we're gonna that's the last one we're gonna get. And we're gonna get that runner, the black guy, in front of us first. So we're gonna head back to that mini wall. And then when he comes around to this side, we're going to hop around this wall and get him. Now the timing should work that that runner that we can see now, the woman, um, doesn't see us. Some great sounds. This one's next, and we're going to use that stone bollard in the middle as cover. So you can press up now, and essentially she's going to rotate around to the right, and we're going to follow her around and sell her. Let's take her out like that. Now that guy over there is actually a trap. You cannot get to him. Not stealthily anyway. So we're going to ignore him for now because we want to take out as many as we can stealthily before we have to go loud.
And so we're just going to push up to this bus and have a look where the next one is. And essentially, she just goes round that stone wall in the middle. And you can use that for cover. It's a great sound. Just grab her, just choke her out. Alright. Now, we're going to have to go between those two buses. And as soon as we do, as soon as we get a certain amount of distance, it's going to trigger more runners because there's more runners just hiding right where I'm shining that light. And then essentially what I recommend doing is just pulling back and say jumping on top of that bus there, using your brick, using your melee and just wait for them to funnel up and then essentially take them down. There are going to be seven I believe in total. So look, there's that guy there, as I said, no matter how close or how stealthily we go, you're going to get, it's like automatic, but I'll just prove it out. So he's turned the corner. Literally, the second you get there, so just run back. You can see they're just coming out from everywhere. So just get up on top of her. And they're going to come on up. Make sure that Ellie isn't getting killed here. Run back. And essentially, you can just get up a different bus, let them funnel up. And just boot them off. Good shout from Bill, one of them coming up behind me. There we go. It wasn't too bad. I think I got hit once. Well, let's not test probably do it better. How do we get inside? I always find with these things, you know, you just move around, create some space. Um, remember, Billy and Ellie cannot get killed. Well, have unlimited ammo and unlimited health as long as they don't get grabbed and that bar doesn't go. And you could even still take them from a distance. I left it a bit close with Ellie, but you could just throw the brick at the, the target. So, that over and done with. Someone left a ladder on the bus. Here, give me up there and I'll drop to you. All right. Once we get up and over here, we're going to want to sprint to the very back as quickly as possible. We're going to want to Don't get killed up there. Thanks, Bill. climb up into a window, get in, because of what is, there's going to be loads of runners coming after us. Now you can okay. wait for we Bill to do to it, the hood of the truck. to open the window, but it takes longer and you'll end up getting attacked. So just sprint all the way down here. There are more coming. Jump on top of this vent, open the window, go, and the go, scene. Go, you two, go. That's not gonna hold. We'll make it fast. Grab this. Please tell me you're done! It's empty. What? Fucking empty! Guys! Bill, where to? Uh, Bill, where? Anywhere but here. You made the whole ass. Come on. Broken through. Brilliant. No battery. We'll sneak out the back. You two, follow me. 
I'll get us out of here. So we're now in the high school escape section. It's the last section of Bill's Town. And in this area, there are four runners and three clickers. And I really hate this, this specific bit. Runner. There's a clicker there. There's a runner up there, which I've actually not counted in my um, four runners, just because that runner will only drop down if everyone gets alerted. So we're going to take that runner out in front of us when she does the loop. That click is going to head back to the right, and when that, that runner comes around here, we're just going to slowly come up and grab. Then we're going to head up these stairs, and we're going to grab a half an alcohol. Let me just check how I am for alcohol crafting wise. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm actually going to quickly craft another Molotov because I might use one in a bit. So that's one runner down, three more to go. So just keep creeping around and there's a run around this corner. And you can't take that clicker into the corner all the way back there and take it out of a brick. It'll alert everyone. You could use an arrow though. So this runner here is going to turn and head back down there. Ignore that for now. Keep going. Alright. So we've got two of the runners down. So basically that was just showing you that a click has come out of that classroom. The click is just to the right. It just literally just went around that corner there. There it is. You just saw it there. And then the other one's around there. So what you need to do is you need to trigger just coming in the store slightly. There's a way through. Bill's going to say that. And then another click is going to come. And two more runners. Now, the male runner there is going to go on a loop in and out of this classroom. And the female one's going to come out to where you are right now, but around this way. So, we need to wait for the male, just like that, to go back in there. We're going to push up slowly. See, that one's going to leave. And you're just going to hug just right here on the desk. He's not going to see you. Just grab him. Choke him out. Don't bump into me, Ellie. And then, you need to be quick because that other run is going to come just right here. So, get behind this door, as you can see. That runner turns. And then you can grab. Take it out. So now we're left with three clickers. And this bit, you can do it in many ways. You can grab this bowl, try and bait them. So look, I got two there. So I'm gonna throw this bottle, get their attention. And then I'm gonna throw this Molotov. That's two clickers down. And the other one around the corner oh, will not cause us any problems so and the, the reason why you have to take down at least one of those clickers is that when we go into this room here there's going to be three runners come and you can try and sneak past them but then bill won't open the final door so you actually have to take those three runners out as soon as you start trying to take the three runners out the clicker will come so you'd rather do it now when you've got a bit more stealth than when you're trying to take on three runners as well. So there's three runners here. Just go full send to this desk. Now I'd recommend just 
just going for the first one. Then running to the back. Taking them out one by one, letting Bill get in the way. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to go through this door and we're going to be actually taking on our first bloater. Um, so there is, um, bloaters are essentially the next evolution from a clicker. And it is a, just a, a massive, I mean, the clues in the name, bloated infected. And it actually pulls off bits of um, infected spores and throws them at you like bombs. Nasty. You cannot get touched by a bloater, just like a clicker. Um, although you can't even shiv these bloaters. Like you grab one grab and, and you're toast. So you want to keep your distance. Um, what I recommend is m make sure you have a Molotov, throw it straight away at the bloater, get a big hit on it. And then there's going to be two runners that are going to run for you. Make sure the space between you and the bloater take out the runners. And then it should be fairly simple. You can just um, use your shotgun, that's what I'd recommend for this, um, and just pull off some headshots on the on the bloater. Bill will also do some damage. You could wait um, and let Bill take him out, but um, it's a lot quicker, a lot safer if you just get involved. So let's head for the door. Help me open this. All right, ready. Come on. We're on the way. Barricade the door. This ain't gonna hold up for long. That don't sound good. There he is. Oh. So that's what I mean. That's what they throw at you. So get Molotov off early. And there's gonna be some runners come down from there. Bloaters coming. You need to just be careful because you can't be anywhere near that bloater. So let's just help Bill. And then make sure we've got that distance. Hopefully, Bill will take care of that runner. You can see it literally just throws those spores at you. Just keep. Keep your distance. I mean, I would take care of that runner, but literally, it's right near the blazer. So, let's wait for it to come over here. Take it out now. There we go. Alright. Too close. Alright. Shotgun time. Now nothing else is going to come out, so you should be able to, should be able to take out the closer. Oh, that was me going through the spores. You do not want to get hit by them. So just a couple of shotgun shots, and you should have this down. Keeps on throwing. <laughs> Charging right for me. Oh dear. It can't hit me with its spores through cover, at least. There's that. But it does have an area of effect damage kind of mode, so. See, it just hit me just there. I mean, you could do another Molotov and hit it that way. You could use your nail bomb.
And then it should be fairly straight forward from there. There you go. Two more shots and it's down. So pick up the shotgun ammo. Been for a long time. We call them bloaters. Bloater. Okay, got it. I hate to interrupt your little biology lesson, but can we get the fuck out of here, please? <laughs> Before you help him out, just head in here, and this is where the bloater came, and you can see. Ugh, it had, was definitely infected for a while. <laughs> Grab these ten parts, um, and essentially, as soon as we go help them out, they're going to they're going to hop on up, and we're going to have two runners come out, and then a third runner come out. Um, which is going to be fun to deal with. Um, I'd recommend using a gun for this. You could probably use a shotgun, take one out really quickly, and then deal with the other two, because essentially two come at you at once, and then a third kind of comes a tiny bit later. I've not got the greatest go, amount of health yeah. either, so I kind of want to deal with this as quickly as possible. All right, come on. <sighs> And then that's the third. Yeah, I definitely recommend using a gun for the first. Because the last thing you want is for all three to be down there at once. Bill will chip in sometimes. But can't rely on them always. All right, we're gonna head out here and we're gonna run straight for a ladder. And there are gonna be two runners here. We will be able to take them out melee. Um, there's no point stealthing them. And they're gonna be one at a time. So just run, full sound, straight here. And just melee this one, and then turn around straight away, and take this one out. Now, do not hang around, because more will come. You can kind of just hear it just behind me. Let's pop up this ladder, and off you go. Inside the house now. So that worked out well. Uh, I'll go check out this side of the house. Bill? Somebody had the same idea they stole my shit. Well then, what the hell is plan B? You ought to be thankful you're still drawing breath. That was plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. And furthermore, tell Tess that she could take Don't this you job. Don't you bring Tess she into this! Shove it right up nothing to do with... Jesus. What, you know this guy or something? Frank. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. He's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. He's got bites. Here. And he Reckon he didn't want to turn, so he... Yeah, I guess not. Well, fuck him. Look what I found. It's got some juice in it. That's my battery. That fucking asshole. Get out. Get out. Okay. Jeez. Batteries drain, but cells are alive. Meaning? Meaning we push it, get it started, and the alternator will recharge the battery. Is that your guess? Look, you wanted a plan B this is as good as it gets. What are you thinking? 
And you drive and we push. Jesus. That's more of my stuff. So... So what, you just, just gonna hmm. steal my shit and run off? Is that it, Frank? So we met... You should probably search Bill's the house. Partner. Sure, there's more supplies. It's a good idea. So that's what I was alluding to earlier on, I think, in the in the last video. Um, we met Bill's partner. Unfortunately, took his own life rather than turning. Kind of similar to what Tess did. So, let's grab that eight shotgun ammo. In here, there are five supplements. And in the back, we have some binding, I'll give you some a holler. parts, and a health bar. So yeah, three quarter parts. Yeah, we're good for binding. So let's use that. Three quarter part. Three quarter binding. Sorry, and we have one, two, three, and five. Eight part and yummy health bar. Definitely needed that. And we have an artifact. This is artifact number 10. And it's actually artifact number 11 as well, but you'll see in a sec. And this is a note from uh, Bill's partner. I'd uh, definitely read that. Um, I feel it's Frank's way of just trying to make Bill forget about him, personally. But... I guess everyone's going to have their own opinion. So, grab that. Sorry, I'll just turn the torch on. There's nothing else in this area. So, head back. And we're going to have the opportunity for two um, optional combos. And I think they're both real, really important for the story. Well, at least the one with Ellie, anyway. You want to be okay with this? Yeah, not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. I won't let you down with this. <sighs> That's a good kind of um, father daughter kind of moment with um, Joel and Ellie. And then the next and the last optional combo for Bill, this I, chapter. Uh, I found this in there and I, uh, I figured you should have it. That's how you feel. Well, fuck you too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. You ready to go? So, you actually have to pick that note back up, and that is Artifact 11. And you can see it's, it's the same note, it's just slightly crumpled. And that is actually all the artifacts. So, we're like 28-ish minutes in. Um, so I'm going to cut it here. We're right at the very end of this chapter, though. Um, so the next bit... Oh, do you know what? No, nah, I'll, I'll just do the next bit. All right, let's do it. I hope you guys don't mind a longer video. So we're going to push this vehicle, and there are going to be in total eight runners and three clickers that come out. First. It's going to be in three phases. Already did it. The first is going to have two runners and a clicker. Keep your foot on the clutch. The second is going to have three runners and a clicker, and then the the three clutch. runners and a clicker. How the hell do you know what? I don't care. Just don't fuck it up. All right, Ellie, get ready. Sorry for the slightly longer video then. Now, now hit it. Hit so it. follow the vehicle. It's not going to make it on the first time, but grab hey, the brick here because we're going to need it for the clicker. Ellie, we're going to give it another here they go. Come. Stay focused. So just, just pull back. Just get to the hill, Stay away from the clicker. I kind of want Bill to engage. Yeah. No, I don't want to hit it. <laughs> that clicker is really close, so I kind of didn't want to get involved there. I want the runner to come to me and have Bill deal with the clicker. So I want Bill to essentially grapple with the clicker, and then I'm going to smash his head open with the brick. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. You def guys definitely saw me hit it with over the head with a brick there. Ugh, that's really annoying. So let's start that again. That's really annoying. So let's push the car. And essentially start the sequence again. Beat up this runner before the other one comes. Cheers, Bill. Alright, let's do this again. I'm tempted just to do this, to be honest. Come on, baby. Two. Two more. I actually think I need to heal up. Come on, Bill. How many hits can this clicker take? Like, legit. This is just silly now. Like that full shotgun was doing absolutely nothing. So we still got the brick in our hand, and we're going to move on to phase two. Probably, I'm going to regret not using a health kit. I think. So again, they're going to come from the right here, and there's now going to be three runners. So take this one out as quickly as possible. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble here. So I'm gonna get the brick out. Just and if you do feel like you'll get in trouble, just head back. Oh, Ellie's in trouble now. Just head back and it'll spread them out. I can take this one out. So yeah, they will go after Ellie. And I'm actually just going to quickly use a health kit. Although I know I said earlier on I wouldn't use a health kit during in-fights. <laughs> oh, but there you go. So there is one more quick and one more runner. Bill's now taking care of that runner. And I'd like him to take care of the clicker. There we go. So now, I'm just going to quickly grab that brick because we've got another clicker and three more runners coming out of the woodworks. So you can see them just there. So again, I'm just going to push back. Possible, take them out one at a time. So even if you have to just do damage a bit at a time. Not Ellie's being attacked. I think Ellie's being attacked by the cliff car? No, just a runner. So as you can see, I'm just separating them from the pack, dealing with them one at a time. And now just the clicker. No way, no way, no way. No way. You saw me hit that clicker. Oh. I'm really sorry guys. I just, I'm not going all the way back to the start. 
just to edit out some absolute rubbish which is happening. Alright. This is bullshit. Pardon for my language. This one's gonna come out. You see, oh, you can see a fourth runner now going to Ellie. So I'm gonna head back. Everyone can use a hand. Just make this one in time. So learn from my issues. If you're too close to the car, sometimes the animation skips. Made it to back away from the car. Yeah, Bill, you deal with that because if that clicker would have grabbed me one more time, that would have been it. So now sprint after this car. Come back, Ellie. Come back. And you want to sprint because otherwise that click is going to get in your way. You can see it's close to getting me. Jump on in. And now we have a scene. Keep her running, alright? That girl nearly got us killed. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Oh, oh. Uh, here. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. Appreciate it. Look, Bill, uh, about your buddy back there, uh, that's a tough deal. And I'm, uh... We square. We're square. And get the fuck out of my town. And that is the end of Bill's Town. So I'm going to cut the video here because we're now moving into the next section, Pittsburgh, and I will cover that in the next video. So apologies for the um, two clicker grabs there. Um, really, really annoying, but learn from my mistake. Don't be too close to the car when you attack the clicker because the melee doesn't always hit them. And yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and su subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I appreciate any feedback.